In the last video, you have learned how to create variables and assign these variables certain values. One thing you should always take in consideration when writing programs is the data type of values held by your variables. By now, you should have seen at least two different data types, strings and integers. In this video, we take a closer look at some of Python's built-in data types. So what is a data type? A data type is a set of values and a set of operations that can be performed on these values. Consider, for example, the integer data type. So what are what kind of values usually considered in the integer data type? An integer, as you know, is basically uh, a whole number. So it's a number that does not have any fractions or it doesn't have any decimal point. So, for example, 1 is an integer. The number 328 is an integer, the number 9000, and the number 15, 28, and so on. So an integer is basically a sequence of digits, and these digits are between 0 and 9. Note that we usually call values in programming, we call these values, we call them literals. And a literal is basically a representation of a data type value. In Python, there are a number of operations which we can do on integers. So, for example, I can take two integers and I can add them together using the plus operator. I can subtract two integers from each other. So, I can take one integer and subtract it from another using the subtraction operator. I can multiply integers using multiplication operator. And note that in Python, you multiply numbers using this star operator and it's not the multiplication operator in mathematics so that's the math multiplication but in Python it's basically a star you can also uh, divide uh, two integers and the result would be an integer and in mathematics we call that floor division and floor division in Python is basically two slashes so this is basically floored or floor division and we'll talk about floor division uh, in the next uh, few slides. You can also uh, take uh, two uh, in, uh, or take one number and raise it to the power of another number using the uh, exponentiation operator. So, for example, if you want to say two raised to the power of three, in Python you do it as two raised to the power of three. So that's how you take two numbers and raise them or take two and raise it to the power of three and then last if you want to find the uh, the remainder uh, of uh, dividing one uh, number over another you basically use the remainder operator so these are common operations which we usually do uh, on integers in Python now this is just one example of uh, one example of a data type and what we look at next is the other data types which are available in Python Throughout this course, we will focus on the use of four different data types, integers, floats, strings, and booleans. Integers, or as they are called int for short, are sequences of digits of 0 through 9. For example, the number 1, 2, 3, 4 is an integer. The number 99 is also an integer. Integers are basically whole numbers. So these are numbers that don't have fractions on them. Floating point numbers, on the other hand, are sequences of digits with a decimal point. So for example, 1.5 is a float. The number 3.14 is also a float. Or the number of 2.17 is also a float. Strings, as we have seen, are sequences of characters that are enclosed in single or double quotations. And sometimes they are also enclosed in triple quotations. So, for example, we have seen the string, hello, hello world. Or you can create a string which contains the single letter A. And in this case, it is a string because it has a single quotation. And you can also create uh, strings that are trouble quoted. So, for example, you have trouble quoted strings. 
uh, with either double quotations or you could also use single quotations so for example you can use three single quotations and three single quotations so these are also considered to be as strings in Python booleans represent truthhood information and for the bool data type there are two allowable values there are the value true with the capital case T and the value false or the literal false with the capital case F both of these are considered as Python keywords so remember these things cannot be used as variable names so let's just take a demo to see how the different data types are used in Python and we'll start with the in data type which is used to represent integers or natural numbers you can specify an integer using a sequence of digits uh, 0 through 9 so for example 10 is an integer we often don't write integers this way so we don't hard code integers or any other values we save them in variables so let me create a variable I'll call it num of students and I'll give it the value 25 so remember from our previous discussion that if you want to see the value of the variable you just type it if you are using the uh, Python interactive shell so you get back the value 25 um, often if you are writing Python scripts the uh, to see the value of the variable you will use the print function so let's say I want to print some meaningful message which displays the value 25 so for that you would use the print function and you can say there are and then comma num of students in the class so remember the print function takes multiple arguments and in this case this print function is taking three arguments the first and the last arguments are strings the second argument is the integer 25 so what does this will print it will print there are whatever value inside num of students in the class and that's the message you get so this is the way to you know integrate variables or bring the values of variables within uh, a string using the print function the other numeric data type that we have seen is floating uh, point numbers uh, or a float so in Python a float is used to represent uh, numbers which has fractions in them or that have a decimal in them for example we have the number 3.14 just like we use integers uh, or we have used integers we usually store variables uh, in uh, we sorry we usually store values in variables to give these values some kind of a meaning or some kind of con a context for a context for example what is the value or the variable 1.6180 well it just looks like it's any other you know number however this number is very popular in mathematics and this is called the golden golden ratio and uh, you can see the you can see the uh, Wikipedia article on the golden ratio to know the importance of this number in mathematics so uh, this is the golden ratio and you can do different things with the golden ratio you can multiply it into something you can use it in uh, expressions or you can just simply uh, display it to the user so you could say print the golden ratio equal to and then the name of the variable so golden ratio and that's the output you get the next data type we'll look at is the string data type so as we have seen that a string data type is anything that is enclosed or any sequence of characters that is enclosed between quotations so for example I am a string is basically a string data type uh, you can also delimit your string with single quotations 
So I am another string. And this is uh, this is basically again a string, but it's delimited with single quotations, and you can also use triple quotations. So, for example, uh, here is another string. So I can use triple quotations. Now, in case you were wondering, what is the difference between triple quoted strings and single quoted or uh, single quoted strings? Triple quoted strings allow you to write any amount of text, including spaces in them. So let me create two variables. So let's say single line is a variable which contains some string in a single line. So this is a single quoted string or because it just have one quote, either double or single. And let's say you have a very long message and you want to put it between uh, uh, a very long message and you want to break that message into multiple lines. One way to do it is using triple quoted strings. So for example, example, you could say long, long message. So you start writing at triple quoted strings. So you can say uh, this is a long message. Now, see, I hit enter, and Python give me these three dots. This means it is Python is still expecting from me to type more things that will be added to this message uh, that I've written before. So uh, this is a long message, which is put between trouble quotes there are some few spelling mistakes but that's okay and let me hit enter now let's see what we get if we print the you know the single line so print single line uh, sorry so I type basically the wrong variable name that's why I'm getting this thing so let me just do it again so print single line so that's the mess that's the first string that I've written uh, let's print the long message. And that's what the long message looks like. So as you can see, it's basically I can put, you know, or I can insert end of lines there by just typing them or by just hitting the enter button. So uh, triple quoted strings are convenient if you have a lot of text and that text uh, spans across multiple lines. So it's a very convenient thing in Python. The last thing we look at is the uh, Boolean data type. Uh, and this is uh, done through the bool data type in Python. So the bool data type represents truth values, which are either true or false from logic. We will look uh, at uh, truth values in more details once we study uh, conditionals in uh, Python. But uh, Boolean values are useful for making decisions and controlling the flow of the program. So let me create uh, one variable and I'll call this variable 5 more than 3 and that's equal to 5 and this arrow here is the greater than simple so so this is basically a comparison so I'm comparing the value of 5 to the value of 3 so we'll look at this in more details later on but what is 5 is 5 greater than 3 so think of this as a question like you're asking yourself the question is 5 more than 3 we know that 5 is actually greater than 3 so this is this is an expression which evaluates to true. So if you hit enter and if you type 5 more than 3 you get the output true. And if you say 5 equal to 3 and I have equal here, it's spelled wrong, so that's 
equal to 3. And that's 5 equal equal 3. Again, we will discuss conditions in more details in a later part of the course. So is 5 equal to 3? We know this is not true. So if you type 5 equal 3, we know that this is actually false. So these are different data types, uh, or the, this shows the use of different data types in uh, Python.